peace peace family so i'm back with another one so today what i wanted to do is i wanted to talk to my chosen ones about these other entities and beings will come into your life to make you feel quote unquote crazy you know what i'm saying and you already know how i feel about the term crazy but i know it's a lot easier to comprehend that because that's how a lot of us was programmed using this word in that manner so what brought me to this subject today was there was i've been like taking a lot of space away from a lot of beings all my social medias besides here posting um but other than that i've been taking a a, a break away from everything and i had a being who i hadn't talked to in like almost a year just kind of like randomly just reach out you know and usually when shit like that happens i'm always aware of what's going on in today's day and age nobody is single i don't give a fuck what they say they can be talking to somebody for a year or two years you know what i'm saying but because they don't put a title on it they say they're single but you're still engaging and you're still giving this person all the benefits of being in a quote-unquote relationship nobody is single nobody knows how to fucking honestly be honest and actually be in a single space but that's neither here nor there right so but i knew i only say that to say because i knew this being had some other shit going on because they had talked to me about like several other guys that they had in the picture going on so kind of when they came to me i was more so of oh i see you you got this knowledge information i want to come figure out how I can come get some validation from you or come extract some energy from you. So this being had ended up getting basically ghosting for like a year. I removed them from my social medias. I had deleted the number out my phone. Everything. This is normally what I do and it wasn't nothing sexual. This is just how my interactions go with beings around me for some reason. So I guess they get out of that ship that they was in uh i guess they was in it for like nine ten months or so whatever i don't know how long it was but this person reached back out right through social media because they didn't want to use my number even though they had it i deleted them out of there um but they hit me on social media apologizing um as if they was quote unquote sincere you know what i'm saying and For me, the first thing I wanted to do was take it almost as a sincere statement because I know a lot of these demonic motherfuckers is not apologizing. If they are, it's it's half-assed. So I kind of took it like 60-40. I wanted to believe it more because I didn't have that many engagements with that person. I'm like, all right, boom. I meant, I I didn't give a fuck. I had deleted everything. I wasn't tripping over nothing in the process. But it was like... The person was saying that they really wanted to communicate with me and they was apologizing for how they, you know, wasn't valuing my energy. I let everybody know now, you gonna value my energy or you gotta get the fuck away from me. Simple process. I don't care what level we on or where it's going, you know what I'm saying? And this person literally came back around, tried to, tried to, because there's not a whole lot of socializing if I'm not engaging. So literally came back around just to try to seek some validation and to kind of make me feel as if I'm uh, pulling myself it's almost like in the spiritual realm all these entities is working together it's like they're all reading and vibing off of each other's energy and then they're tapping in and watching your shit and seeing what you have going on so then that way they can kind of tell what kind of space you in spiritually. Once they can tell what kind of space you in spiritually, then they figure out how much leeway they have to come in and add more chaos and confusion. So this being came back around, right? And they start doing this weird thing when they want to text and they take two hours or a year to respond back. And I just start thinking to myself, as soon as it first happened, I was like, I could have kept this motherfucking witchy ass motherfucker deleted. I didn't even have to bring this person back into my space and they not really in my space but once you have direct contact with me i basically say you're in my space so they came back with the same witchy ass tactics literally with the one day two hour communication thing 
And then it was, I, I, I'm a real life person. So for me, I like to either, I have to FaceTime or I have to gauge with you in real life time. I don't, I don't like doing all that. I got a lot of other shit I'm working on and figuring out. So for me to be sitting around texting or emailing and doing this shit when I got all these other things going on, that's not the space I'm in. You know what I'm saying? And I realized like it's not that big of a deal because they never was in my space like that. I never had no sexual interactions with them like that. We only been in each other's physical presence maybe once or twice, I want to say, but it's, it wasn't nothing that serious. But I realized like when they came back around, I was extremely straightforward every time something witchy happened whether it was a nord text from a day or a call that didn't get responded and then get called back later or just a prior engagement set up and then they just kind of backpedal like they always do you know what i'm saying i realize a lot of these signs is how you can tell these fake spiritual beings who are really witchy you know what i'm saying so and this is a being who claims to be spiritual. They do the tarot card readings, which I haven't really spoke on because I don't really want to give my two cents as far as I feel about that space. I know a lot of tarot readers, a lot. But they all tell you I have never got a reading. They have never offered one and I have never tried to get one. You know what I'm saying? Um, Certain spaces have to feel better for me internally for me to want to explore or die. And I just always been a little confused about that one. Terror, for me, I think of terror like horror. So a, a lot of these terror readers that I've been coming across have been some of the witchiest spiritual beings that I have come across. And I don't want to put everybody in that space. That's why I speak directly and I say for me personally, like the terror readers that I've came across have all been like witchy witches, whether it was a, a masculine one or feminine. Now, I know you can find them, you know, like everything you can find them working on the, the better end of the spectrum, but the ones that's in my vicinity, so it just, it just reminded me of everything that I already have going on. And then I communicate with all these other beings who's going out their way to try to get my energy. And it's like, I asked a stupid motherfucker. I'm like, so what is it that you are looking for from me? What, what is it? Like, do you need teachings? Do you need lessons? Do you want to learn something? Are you looking to engage with me? You're trying to go somewhere else? Like, what the fuck is your purpose? Because you coming back and trying to be in my space, in, in any of our spaces, and you're still with witchy ass communication tactics, you know what I'm saying? You still doing all the same other witchy shit that you've been doing before. What is your purpose? And that's when I started to realize like, this vessel is being used as well as an opposition. This vessel as well is being used as an opposition. So in my past month or so, I've been having a lot of things happening. And that's probably just because I'm out here pushing a lot of this out here too as well. So I expect it, you know what I'm saying? But when I start allowing people in my spaces who are asking and begging to be in my space or in my energy, and they don't have a purpose. If I don't know what your purpose is, that means that it's not for the greater good or the creation. If I don't know what your purpose is around me, I only can assume you want some witchy shit. And this is what I've been going through the past month is people going out their way to kind of try to get my energy to kind of ghost me, do some weird witchy shit, talk to me, don't talk to me, ask for energy, don't. It's all these little things that's been happening to kind of make me feel as if I'm crazy when I know that isn't even a real thing. You know what I'm saying? They're just trying to fill my inner space with chaotic confusion thoughts. 
So that's what I've been doing this past month. I've just been kind of diving in and I haven't been indulging in other people's energy. I've been in my own space. So I've been able to get some clarity in some of these spaces. For me, if I don't get no clarity, then it's gonna constantly be this little weird piece over here that I keep going back to, like, like one of my Rubik's cubes, you know what I'm saying? So I always need clarity. I always need clarity. There's no point of dealing with people and being involved with people if you aren't clear on your intentions. I know they say um, some people have dealings with people and it's more transactional. With the way this shit is set up right now, you almost really don't have a choice but to put it on the table right away when you see somebody or engage with somebody. It's like... If I hit my man Savage up, I'm like, bro, you try and cook up some beats. I'm being direct as far as what I would like to use his energy for if he wants to share his energy with me and I can share mine with him. If you want to hit the trails with me, it's the same thing. It, it's, it's no different. But I realize, like, diving in and, and, and working is hard. Uh, to, to raise this frequency to make sure that I'm keeping my shit aligned and make sure that I'm keeping my mini aligned as well you know what I'm saying it's a million obstacles coming in it's literally like a landfill, a landmine out here, you know what I'm saying just landmines everywhere just landmines everywhere and so when some people reach out to me y'all have to understand i got a lot of witchy motherfuckers in my physical presence and a lot of witchy motherfuckers that's in my dms and inbox it's a whole new process you know what i'm saying so for me i have to uh i don't put everybody in that box so i have to look at each situation individually but once i engage with you and then it, it kind of shifts or feels that way I don't have no choice but to put you over there. There's a war going on. It's only two teams. I'm not, nobody's going in the middle. The energy is always moving. Energy is always moving. If you're not thinking negative, you're thinking positive. If you're not thinking positive, you're thinking negative. There is no middle ground. Chess is the only game where you're going to get a stalemate. You know what I'm saying? So a, a lot of people come into our lives just to see... How much and what kind of energy we're willing to give and how much they can take from us. And as far as y'all women, y'all have to do a better job at distinguishing yourself out here. Uh, it's just it's just that simple. You know, we already know that the Western world is set up for women to quote unquote think they're leading. So y'all the, the the divine fem, y'all have to do a, a, a fucking better job. Divine men. I, I'm, I, it's none in my vicinity, you know what I'm saying? I, I salute to all my divine kings that's out there that I do chop it and build with through the technology, you know what I'm saying? But as, as far as us like moving in the right direction and understanding people are just coming in your space for it, I would never say no purpose. It's always either to raise your frequency or it's to pull your frequency down. These motherfuckers is coming in to pull my shit down. It's like they come in to test my principles and my morals and values, you know what I'm saying? Like I have one witchy witch that when you go on her Instagram, it's like all sexual shit. Literally, just everything is all sexual. So when they hit me, I was like, uh, you are kind of hard to process because the first thing anybody gets when they come to your social media is all sex. It's all sex, so you're already using the magic to manipulate the mind already. You know what I'm saying? You already using that low vibrational shit to manipulate the mind. If you already got it, you don't have to do those things. And you already understand, if you come into the door with divine kings like me and like others, that shit is not going to fly. I promise you. I promise you that shit is not going to fly. It's going to be some regular basic ass shit like a piece of this grass. You see this? It's not, it's not much of a difference between this and this. This and this. Eventually, you get tired and you get burnt out of the shit. You know what I'm saying? But I think it really comes down to us just being aware of the people who come in with no purpose. No purpose. If 
and and the thing is with no purpose you have to equate no purpose as into damage if you have no purpose then you're damaging me you're damaging my environment you're damaging the energy that i'm in right now you know what i'm saying and these are things that i always have to keep in mind because i'm not gonna stop doing this and i know a lot of us other warriors is not gonna stop doing this we just have to come up with different tactics as well as far as managing our energy and weeding these other witchy motherfuckers out that just keep trying to come and dig into the space you know what i'm saying don't allow somebody to be like oh they care about you or they want to see the best for you but you told them one two three you need help with and they're not doing none of the above you don't have to depend on none of them motherfuckers to do shit because it's not they motherfucking job but when you're in my energy and you're communicating with me like this i'm gonna slap you the fuck away from me or i'm gonna say some shit you're not gonna want to hear because for one thing it's not gonna happen is i'm not you're not just gonna intentionally pull my energy down like we passed all the words unless there's some action behind it you know what i'm saying and if it's just words kind of like this then you have to do a great job at reading the motive and intentions you know what i'm saying but I ain't want to run it up too long, you know what I'm saying? Y'all tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens.